Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I picked up a couple of interesting uh, pieces of tech uh, while staying here in the US and I've received a few messages from friends and folks on Twitter interested in hearing a little bit more about the differences between uh, GPS trackers for your luggage, Bluetooth trackers and why you might want one in the first place. So I said I'd record this video to try explain those. So we're currently seeing the uh, sight of so-called luggage mountains uh, happening in airports around the world as uh, airports face shortages of baggage handlers and the humans necessary to process these in airports. We're seeing them in the airport I'm traveling to in a few days, which is Ben Gurion Airport in Israel. There's, there's been these sites in London Heathrow Airport and they say it may take more than a year uh, before the situation is rectified and in Dublin Airport. So that's causing a lot of people to think more carefully about what they can do to make sure that they are reunited with their bag when they arrive at their destination. So the couple of two products on the market I'm going to talk about and one very simple method I made a uh, there's been some interesting threads on the travel subreddit on this very topic and one of the recommendations and I did a video about this is this is my top tip is putting a business card inside your suitcase not on the outside on the outside the airline will affix a one of those tags that's going to have a scannable barcode and that contains everything that the airline needs to track your bag through the system including your passenger information and from that from there they can uh, get in contact with you but uh, those from time to time might come off or be ripped off and in that case if you have a uh, the TSA or whoever uh, wherever you are in the world may actually open up your suitcase to try to identify whose luggage it is so a very very simple hack that's going to cost you about 10 cent far cheaper than either of these two gizmos is to simply leave a few business cards scattered throughout your suitcase so that if someone does have to open it they can quickly find your cell phone and email address but if you do want to go down the technical route what's the difference between these two types of trackers so bluetooth trackers have been around for a while and probably the best known brand of those is something called tile this is a tile I've been using them for a while for tracking my wallet because I'm one of those people that tends to forget things. Um, it's very good, but the limitation of Bluetooth is that it's a very uh, short range wireless network. That means that you're, it, this is only going to be useful if you're pretty much right next to your suitcase. Now, besides Tile, there's also the Samsung Galaxy have a tracker. Apple has its AirTag. I'm not gonna get into the AirTag because firstly, I'm not an Apple user. And secondly, it's kind of a combination system. It's both a local system, but that also relies on the fact that there's a lot of them in circulation. But if you look at a pure Bluetooth tracker, like the Tile, for instance, the at the top end, these have a range of 400 feet. So the way this works is you take one of these little uh, gadgets, I've labeled mine according to the bags, and you'd put that in your luggage. And if you're within 400 feet, of the tile, it should be able to via Bluetooth communicate with your phone. You can push a button on an app saying, find my luggage and this thing will ring. In fact, I can do a ring now. So it'll, it'll do a ring um, and that'll allow you to find it. Now the limitation here, if you are trying to find your bag through the baggage mountains we're seeing at the moment in airports, this would actually be pretty useful unless every single traveler has thought of this, put a tile in their luggage, there's, on, there's only like one of 10 ringtones to choose from, and you've got a bunch of people trying to find their bag. So that's the only limitation I can think of, but that's already kind of nitpicking. The question really becomes, is GPS tracking useful and is there any reason to pay a little bit more for the costs associated with the Tracky, which is a GPS tracker that I picked up yesterday? In the opinion of most folks who are talking about this on the internet, and in my opinion, probably not. And I'll explain the reason for that. Bluetooth tracking, if your bag does end in a luggage mountain and the in worst case scenario, the airline or the airport says, sorry, you're on your own, go find your bag. This actually may be very useful in helping you to pinpoint which bag is yours from a big room. You just have to make sure that you put the tile in before, verify it's working, ring it, and it should buzz. Uh, so I would actually say these are worthwhile investments. They're about $20 per, per tile. They sell them in sets of three or four. So if you're traveling with four bags, you can buy a set of four and put one in each suitcase. Somewhere that the uh, ringing noise is likely to be audible. A GPS tracker is different. It um, is a little device with the worldwide data sim embedded in it. This is Tracky. Now, I mentioned that Bluetooth only works for, at best, 
400 feet some of the tiles only work for 150 feet and the actual range you achieve is likely to be less than that if you're you know if it's behind a carousel or there's something physically standing between your phone which is what you need to sort of communicate with these ringers and the ringers so the real world performance is likely to actually be significantly less useful so this is really if your bag is right in front of you in a room. GPS tracker takes it to the next level. These are basically, uh, there's two ways of finding position via GPS, at least that I'm aware of. One of them is via GPS satellite. So you have devices like the Garmin series of GPS navigators, popular with outdoor people and, uh, and uh, hikers. And they do not have cellular data, but they have GPS, so they're separate things. But you can also derive your GPS position via cellular data. If you're connected to a number of cell phone towers, you can triangulate your position just through data. So the Tracky has a built-in worldwide data sim. It works over 2G, 3G, 4G, and they promise international coverage. So 2G is a much, much slower GSM network that uh, has been sunset in a lot of the world now. But theoretically, once you have this in your bag and you pay for a subscription, uh, you should be able to derive your position and this works pretty nicely It's got an app as well and it gives you a nice little satellite picture and you can see where this thing is now This doesn't need to be a luggage tracker. You can stick this on your car. You can stick this on anything It can track anything literally um, So the difference really in terms of cost between a tile between a Bluetooth tracker and a GPS tracker It's actually fairly similar. I think that I paid about $20 for this which in my opinion is actually a great deal, right? It's uh, uh, you have this, you own it, and when you travel, you just need to purchase your data plan. Uh, the tiles are about 20 bucks a unit as well. In my opinion, as someone who frequently either loses stuff or worries about losing stuff, it's actually quite a small price to pay for peace of mind. Um, the advantage of a GPS tracker is you will see where in the world your suitcase is. You don't need to pay anything for Bluetooth. It's a uh, this has a little battery in it. It's a very low power radio network. It's constantly beaming it out. So you buy this tracker and you have it. In order for this to be useful, because it works over data, you need to pay a monthly data SIM so that the carriers will supply data to this device. Now, there's two main GPS trackers for luggage tracking on the market. One's called Gigo, G-E-G-O. And the second one is Tracky. I went for Tracky because I like the fact that they made it transparent that you didn't need to, you didn't need to commit to a year subscription. You can just pay for a uh, one month subscription. The subscription uh, charge is tiered upon how frequently this guy updates. I went for the one minute polling, which is the cheapest, but you can actually get five second polling and that's gonna cost you a bit more. In other words, this will report its position every five seconds. For me, a minute was more than useful enough. The big question is, is GPS tracking going to work in the context of luggage? First thing to say why it's probably not necessary is, as I mentioned earlier in this video, once the airline uh, check-in agent tags your bag, they know where it is in the system. When you've lost your luggage, you're more, it's more likely to happen that it's in a pile somewhere. The airline knows where in the world that pile is located and it's just the kind of sticky job of finding the bag from the pile. For that kind of a situation, Bluetooth tracking is going to be more useful. Um, and for the situation where you truly don't know where your thing is in the universe or on the planet, this is going to be more useful, but it's gonna come at a more expensive cost. So for this particular journey, because I'm really worried and because A, I thought it'd be fun to test these both out, I'm going to be using both a Bluetooth tracker and a GPS tracker. And I'm also not going to be forgetting to leave a business card in my luggage, just in case. I hope this video has provided some information if you're currently uh, traveling and you're worried about those uh, unpleasant looking uh, baggage mountains that you hope your bag's not going to wind up in. And you've thought about buying either a GPS luggage tracker or a Bluetooth luggage tracker. My personal recommendation, even though I bought this to play around with, I would actually just buy a four or five pack of these uh, tile trackers and I would also make try to ensure that you're using a somewhat distinctive ringtone so that in the situation that you find that everyone's using one of these you have a better chance of being able to retrieve your luggage but if you really want to know where in the world your bag is even though in most vast majority of cases the airline already has that info uh, you can pick up a GPS tracker final caveat is it going to work in the air probably not it'll probably pick up when you're on the tarmac at your departing airport 
and arrival airports, you'll be able to see that your bag made it from A to B, even if you can't observe it as it's going between A and B. Thank you for watching. More videos about technology and all other subjects like that coming to this YouTube channel soon.